Eight years ago, I met Professor Dr. K. Chan from the Polytechnic University in Hong Kong during his annual lecture here at Prince of Songkhla University in Phuket. During this year's presentation, I was intrigued by some of his comments related to education in Asia and the hospitality and tourism industry in Thailand. I caught up with him a few days later to discuss these and other topics. In your recent uh, lecture here at Prince of Songkhla University, you talked with the students about the Asian paradigm. In more recent years, we have seen the center of gravity of where tourism has come to Asia, and both in quantity and quality. In quantity, we're talking about a large number of tourists arriving in Asia and also Asians traveling. We have seen such a huge growth of outbound tourism from Asia. For example, uh, before the Chinese traveled internationally, and the citizens of the world who are traveling most were Germans and Americans. And we have seen 107 million Chinese traveling internationally per year. And everywhere you go, you see these Chinese tourists. So that is also an example of Asian paradigm in terms of growth of industry. And also we're talking about quality of hospital and tourism services in Asia. If you look at the list of top hotels in the world, top airlines in the world, usually you'll find them are uh, the hotels and Asian airlines from Asia. That is representing Asian paradigm in hospitality management. At Hong Kong Polytechnic University, you developed a number of dynamic new master and PhD programs. Can you tell us something about this innovation and how it could be applied to undergraduate programs here in Southeast Asia. You know, with the new tourism in Asia, we have to think about new product. And also, in, we have an opportunity to create some educational product and then market internationally. Now, with Asia fast developing, being recognized as center of excellence in hospitality, obviously there is growing interest about Asia and about idea of going to study in Asia. And Phuket is very well situated for that because Phuket is Hawaii to Southeast Asia. And I think it's an ideal place for anybody to think about coming here for short-term training or education. And I think uh, with the uh, reputation of Thai hospitality industry, I think there is a chance to bring many international students if I were a student from the United States or Europe, I would definitely be interested in spending some time in Asia, and they will be wondering, where should I go in Asia? There are so many places. So I think when you see uh, some unique education program in Phuket at Prince of Songkhla University, perhaps uh, the students will be interested in coming and studying for a while. I've heard that in your lectures you often describe uh, to students that Thai hospitality is among the best in the world. Can you talk to me a little bit about this? I think uh, it is in the heart of Thai people. Uh, I know in Thai language there is a concept called Nam Jai. Uh, literally I think that means uh, water heart. What that means is in the old days in a tropical country like Thailand, when people are traveling, they could become thirsty. In anticipation of this passersby who may need water, uh, it was uh, common that in the villages, they put out a jar of water outside the door for this passersby to stop and drink. And this is a beautiful concept. That means that the service is coming naturally from your heart not because customers are paying you the money, but because you really want to serve out of your care and concern and out of, out of genuine love. I think this is uh, very prevalent in Thai society, in Thai people's culture. That's why Thai hospitality is very unique. I always say that there's hospitality and there's Thai hospitality, which is uh, a pinnacle of hospitality. Professor Keichan, you often tell your students that you sincerely enjoy coming to Phuket to teach and lecture and, and make research. Can you tell us something about what, what is it about Phuket that draws you here? You know, my uh, association with uh, Prince of Sankhla University goes back uh, 23 years ago. 
And then I was a professor teaching in the United States. And I came to meet uh, one professor, Ajahn Manat, at the time. That's how I got to know PSU. And since I have been uh, a friend of PSU, coming quite regularly, on and off. And during the vacation, sometimes I come and visit and talk with uh, faculty members and uh, lecture the students. It's always enjoyable. To me, this is my own CSR of a kind that I want to contribute to the development of hospitality industry in Thailand. And I want to be part of this growth of Princeton Sankola University. And I saw the Faculty of Hospital and Tourism Management in Phuket growing from nothing. Actually, when I first visited, uh, the professor in charge said that this is our new campus. What I saw was the just wilderness. And then I saw two buffaloes on it. And that's where uh, they started building the campus. Now it has been developed as one of the major schools of this kind in Southeast Asia. And it has been always a pleasure to be part of the growth. And it has been exciting. And I want to contribute for further growth of hospitality industry and for further growth of this program. With more and more students enrolling in hospitality and tourism management undergraduate programs here in Phuket, what advice would you give students so that they can make the most out of their experiences here in Phuket? Uh, future, the career, uh, I think, opportunities for our students in hospitality and tourism uh, is just excellent because uh, of growth of the industry. And I think we sh our young people should have high aspiration for the career. And with the change of the industry, especially in Asia, we see uh, a trend that many of the leaders in our industry uh, are also localized. So that perhaps will give a great opportunities for our students who aspire to be successful in hospital and tourism industry. So for that, I think they must be just curious. And when they are curious, they are studying questions. And then they are doing research on the topic. And they uh, gain knowledge, new knowledges. I think that's important. Also, it's important for our students to gain hands-on experience. Because this is an industry you cannot learn just from textbook or through lectures. You have to sometimes get your hands wet or dirty to uh, learn the best practices. And I think this is very important because when they are in the position of managing employees, they must understand what employees are doing. Without having gone through the experience, it will be difficult to have the empathy and then communicate with uh, the staff they are working with. So I think it's important for our students to gain hands-on experience as well. What are the potential benefits to research and publication at the undergraduate level? Uh, I think uh, it's important for young students to have a creative mind and also they will be questioning you know, with out of curiosity. That can be answered through the research they are undertaking. So under supervision of professors, they can undertake some research on a topic related to hospital and tourism. I think that's very important for them to develop that analytical thinking and then also they will prepare them for possible some postgraduate studies in the future. Professor K. Chan, in your lectures on the meaning of hospitality, you mentioned that the concept appears in the Bible at least five times, and also that we see this um, in Asian cultural gestures, such as the, the bow in Japan or the, uh, the Y in Thailand. Can you tell me more about this history. The original meaning of hospitality is a concept relating to cultural religious practices of sharing with others with genuine care and concern. In the Bible, there is reference to a story that Jesus Christ was washing the feet of his own students. That is hospitality. You do it not because your customer is paying you the money, but you do it because you really care, you want to show your love. So in the Bible, there are five times when the word hospitality appears. One example is in the book of Romans, uh, chapter 12 or 13. Apostle Paul is telling the people of Rome, 
today's Italy that if you are Christians, you have to live by certain rules. Number one, you have to be hope, yeah, joyful. You have to be joyful with hope. Whenever you have difficulties in your life, you must have a faith. You have to pray and share with people who are in need and practice hospitality. So I think practice hospitality in the context of sharing with others who are in need. That's the meaning of hospitality. Now when we put the word business next to it, we are talking about industry dealing with hospitality services. In your recent lecture here at Prince of Songkhla, you talked about the bottom-up approach. And in this, uh, you showed the students a chart. And in this chart, the students were on top. And you put yourself, you placed yourself on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about this? Yeah. Hospitality is all about serving. Serving with genuine care, concern, and love. And if you think about it, hotels exist because they are guests. Airlines exist because they are passengers. Schools exist because we have students. They are the reason why school exists. So that's how we view. For that reason, we put students on top of our organization chart because we exist because of students. They are our customers. Uh, as a dean of school, I always see myself at the bottom. I call myself a servant. I'm here to serve of professors, faculty members, and staff so they can in turn serve our students better. But if I'm only a servant, I cannot do my job as a dean, so I have to be a leader at the same time. A leader is somebody who is visionary, who has strategic mind, who can mobilize resources to make things happen. So combined together, I call myself a servant leader. So this is a concept based upon which uh, we uh, exist in our school and with, with that bottom-up approach. Well, thank you, Professor K. Chan. It was really an honor to have you here today, and we look forward to your next visit to Phuket. Thank you so much. Thank you.